Do you have hundreds of measures in your dataset and it's hard for you to find which one to use or edit? You need to organize everything in folders. Hello everyone, Shaob is back with another interesting video and today I'm going to show you how you can organize your measures and tables in your Power BI dataset. Organization is crucial, especially when you're dealing with many measures. I remember last year I was working on a project and in that project we were using more than 1500 measures. Crazy! If it's the first time you're watching my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get a notification for the new upcoming videos. Stay tuned. It's highly possible that you're working on a report and in your dataset, you have hundreds of measures for different purposes and categories. Always remember my sentence. Keep your Power BI dataset as clean as you're keeping your home. Consider that you're inviting some guests to your home. And so, you keep your home clean and tidy before their arrival. In Power BI, we are doing the same thing. We are trying to keep our dataset as clean as possible. It helps when in future someone opens our file, they can easily work and maintain it. Having discipline is essential. Without it, sometimes it's even hard for you to find the correct measures and use in your report. Now let's see how we can organize our measures in Power BI. The first tip I want to tell you is using a measure folder and never creating measures inside your tables. This makes it easy when you're looking for a measure and you will easily just look in that specific measure folder instead of searching in different tables. To create a measure folder from the home menu, choose enter data. In the new pop-up window, the same as many other manual tables, you can insert any value. But here, to create a measure folder, we won't enter any data. And we just name this table as key measures. And then press on load button. After a few seconds, you can see a new table in the data field, which name is key measures. As you can see, this is just a table with an empty column 1. To change it to a measure folder, we need to select this table and choose new measure from here. I only write test equal to 1 and apply it to create a very simple measure which returns 1. Now you can see inside this table, there is a measure and the empty column 1. To change this table to a measure folder, we need to just remove column 1 by right-clicking on it and choosing Delete from Model. You can see when I apply this change, the icon beside the table changes to a calculator, which means it only contains measures. So, we created our measure folder, Bananas. Now, let's open another dataset. Consider that in this model, I created hundreds of measures and I placed all of them inside the key measures folder as always. But, when I'm dealing with these many measures, it's still hard to find the measures I like. This becomes more challenging to find the measures which are related to each other and edit some of them. 
So I need to create some subfolders inside this key measure folder to organize different measures. But if I right click on measures or the folder, there isn't any option available for us to create subfolders here. What we need is install a free external tool and it's nothing except tabular editor. You can easily search for it on Google and download and install it. Just remember it has different versions and version 2 is the free one and what we need to install. Newer versions are also available with more options but we have to pay for them. But in our case version 2 is enough. When installed, just close all your Power BI desktop files and open them again and you can see a new menu on top here, which is external tools. And within it, you can easily find tabular editor. When our dataset is open, I click on tabular editor and a new window will open up for us. Let's maximize it. On the left hand side, you can see a folder namely tables. I press on the little chevron beside it to expand. Here you can find all the tables and folders inside your model. If I expand the key measures, I can see all the measures available here. The only thing we need to do is selecting similar measures that should be placed inside a folder. After selecting them, right click and then choose create new and then display folder. Then just choose a related name for this folder. Too easy. Now if I go back to the report, you still cannot see any folder here. Why? Because every time we apply any changes here in tabular editor, we need to press the save button from here. Now if I close tabular editor and go back to the dataset, you can see the folder is available here. You can easily create as many subfolders as you like using tabular editor and move measures between these folders. You can do the same approach if some of your tables have too many columns and you can easily create subfolders inside your tables. This is how easily you can organize your measures and tables in Power BI. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it and subscribe to the channel to get notification for the new upcoming videos. Have a good day all Power BI lovers.